Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I'm Dano and I'm gonna do a review of a movie trailer? So the time has come. Jurassic World has unleashed their first official trailer. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm excited. I am excited. Now I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan, you can tell by my cool little mashup Toy Story Jurassic Park shirt. But I actually have a huge, huge Jurassic Park toy collection that I've kept since a child and I, I love it. It's like seriously one of my favorite things ever. I'll probably never get rid of it. This trailer looks really, really good. So the trailer starts out with the mom sending off, looks like her two kids, talking about a trip and says, if something chases you, run. That's a cool, cool way to set it up, and I'm glad to see the kid from Iron Man 3 is back at work. Now next they cut to this shot of this crazy looking triple, double size cruise ship going on the water. I've never actually gone on a cruise ship, but I've looked into some, and I don't think I've ever seen anything like that, so I'm assuming that's something that's uh, made up just for this movie. Shortly after that they show you the gates. Now the Jurassic Park gates is such an iconic thing. And they teased at this about a week ago with some other info. Uh, they have just like a regular still photo of the gates. And the one thing I noticed on the gates is that you could see underneath them. There was a track in the middle. But if you notice, there was a track on the first one too because the cars were electric and they kind of went over it. This time I noticed the track in the middle and the floor was just open. We see in the trailer now that it's a monorail. There's like a cool monorail and the little boy is like lurching forward, like looking as those gates open. And oh man, the second those gates opened, it got me right here. I was nine years old again, just like so excited for Jurassic Park. And being able to see the shots of the island, and what's different about it this time is how full it is. The park is open. The park is open. Now in Jurassic Park 1, Lost World, even Jurassic Park 3, all of those movies were really void of people. There was, you know, a core group of people who were on the island. You know, the first time Dr. Grant and Ellie Sattler and Ian Malcolm were there just visiting, kind of testing it out, and things went bad. The second one was a completely different island which had already been abandoned. The third one, no one had been there for years and a kid got lost there. So this time it's really different to see all of these people and all those people are wearing the uh, John Hammond hat. Spared no expense. It's kind of weird they're all rocking the same hat, but I guess, you know what, if I had a Jurassic World Park, I'd probably sell everyone the John Hammond hat too, but they'd have to buy the cane to go with it, and they'd have to say, spared no expense, after every time they bought something. Spared no expense. Now it looks like Jurassic World, the park itself, has a lot of cool attractions. Uh, there's some Gallimimuses running by, like a cool safari truck, and we get to see people like kayaking down a river, and there's a bunch of stegosauruses and stuff, like just right next to them. There's the weird gyrosphere glass ball thing that takes people around. And then we get to one of the coolest parts of the whole trailer. Looks like a great white shark just dangling in midair, which reminds me of when they showed the cow in the first movie dangling over and they were about to feed it to the raptor pit. So this was cool to see this whole like a right on the water SeaWorld type Shamu auditorium and they're bringing in this big old shark. And out of nowhere this big huge dinosaur just and everyone in there taking their crappy iPad pictures completely gets them ruined. By the way, don't take pictures with your iPad. It is just a bad idea. Buy a real camera. This message was brought to you by Canon. Spared no expense. Now after that scene, they get to something that's a little bit controversial to me. Now I love dinosaurs. I'm a little bit of a dinosaur purist. And they start talking about how they've learned so much through genetics and that they've created a new hybrid what? Now this new plot point of uh, a new dinosaur they created is something that kind of bugs me. I, I don't like the idea. I think it's terrible. It just sounds so stupid. Yeah, we created a new dinosaur with, I think, the rumor online was cuttlefish DNA, velociraptor, T-Rex, fried chicken. I don't know. There's all kinds of weird stuff they splice together to make like a really weird, delicious dinosaur. Now, as much as I hate that idea, I gotta say the trailer has definitely put my mind at ease some because the trailer makes it look really good. Like, I didn't think they were going to pull that off really well, but by the looks of it, it looks like it could be okay. They start cutting to shots of Star-Lord sitting there looking around all inquisitive. They show these shots of this wall and it's all scratched up and he's like, oh, what could it be? And then they cut to the shot of the underneath the camera, underneath the legs of the dinosaurs that's chasing somebody and it all felt like Jurassic Park 1 again. 
I could just feel all the feels coming at me. And I am really, really stoked. Guys, watch that trailer. Come back, talk to me. Let me know what your thoughts are about the new Jurassic Park movie. Because I, for one, am really excited. Like, I just hope they do the toys right. So I've had this theory, and I've mentioned it in other videos before, that if the toys are bad, the movie's bad. And that's changed a little bit in the last year or so. But, for the most part, it stands true. And Jurassic Park 1 toys, amazing. Jurassic Park 2 toys, really awesome. Jurassic Park 3 toys, not so good. So hopefully Jurassic World toys are back on top again. Because there are a lot of crazy collector people out there. There's even whole YouTube channels you can look for that are just dedicated to the toys. And it's, it's nuts. So I hope they do it right and bring back more cool stuff. Because uh, we'll be doing unboxings here on the Dano channel because my channel knows no bounds. I do movie reviews, artwork, just random talking about things, unboxings, you name it. It's going to happen here on the Dano channel, which is why you should subscribe. And if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like what I'm doing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Jurassic Park news because I think I'm going to be covering a lot of this going forward. I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Rawr.